a lot of nerves, uh, both sides. The, the team itself is down first. But it's going to be a 90, tense 90 minutes. Hello and welcome to Windsor Park as we bring you highlights of this year's Bass Irish Cup final. It's the Battle of the Glens, Glen Torn against Glenavon. Up for grabs, the trophy and the glory, of course, and a place in next season's European Cup Winners' Cup. It's a lot to play for. So the winner takes all, and a big crowd here at Windsor Park to see it on a sunny day. A great atmosphere building up. Looking at Glen Torren now in their semi-final with Crusaders, they were trailing 2-1 when the Glen Torren substitute made his mark. Coyle, Matheson, and I remember the goalkeepers struggling, and it's an equaliser. And it's Smith who scored at the substitute. In the replay, it was 1-1, but it was Glen Torn who provided the very late drama. We are now in the last minutes of this semi-final replay. Coyle. Oh, yes! He has done it! Tommy Cassidy, no trophies this season. He'll be hoping for one. There's his daughter, Hannah. The skipper, John Devine. Trevor Smith. Goalkeeper, Declan Devine. That's Beatty there. There's little Justin McBride, Liam Coyle, Glenn Little, Chris Walker, the big central defender, Colin Nixon, 17-year-old. There's Darren Parker with that headband. And then the Glen Torn substitutes. Derek Cook amongst them there. There's Darren Finley, small man, who's coming in at left back. Andy Matheson nearest too as one of the substitutes. So, nice shot there, a couple of Glen Torren maskets. Where will we stand? On the left and the white, Hannah Cassidy, daughter of the manager, Tommy. He's not pleased, is he? That's Mark McClure, who's the grandson of the Glen Torren kit man. What a big day for them. Is he happy now? Yes, he is. Referee today, Alan Stoddy. It's his fourth Irish Cup final. The 51st... Post-war Irish Cup final is underway, and as I said, a lot to play for, including that place in Europe. Little or no breeze here today at Windsor Park, glad to say it's not raining. Ferguson gets the touch, McBride, Ferguson on the ground, Parker in there, now what is the referee given here? But Adam Clare's not too happy with that challenge saying that the skipper Ferguson was stamped on the referee issuing a few stern words here we are and he goes and yes he did he certainly caught him and there's another one it's all a bit untidy for the moment Walker gives it to Finlay now he's got a good left foot to deliver the cross Glenn Little clever ball there he ran into Stuart Gold, I think it was. And gives away the free kick. Then Little, who got three in the quarter-final replay against Palomino United. Finley. Very clever. The ball, Beatty. Parker. And Torn getting plenty of men forward on this occasion. Here's Little. Inside Coy, lovely one-two. Little down he goes, but it was a good challenge by John Smith in there again off the head of Coyle that's the keeper's ball Little likes to take people on he's still going Glenn Little the goalkeeper dropped it but he got it again and the angle just too tight for Glenn Little but a sign there of what he's capable of weaved his way past two players Strally did well well he didn't but he did in the end we'll go left to Coyle again we're now into time added on in this first half, of which there is none. The referee brings it to an end. It's been a fairly dull first half. Not too many chances. Sammy Johnson free kick just wide. Mark Lindenning header just wide. And at the other end, Glenn Little, a shot well saved by Strani. But overall, it's been poor fare. It's nil-nil. for the moment under a bit of pressure just McBride right footed that's a good ball in Devine is up there it's off the line by Gary Smith but a real 
chance there. Good ball in from McBride. Devine climbed high, and there's Gary Smith right on the line. Coyle. Glenn Little. The one-two with Trevor Smith. Bentinning for all the tangle. But it's a corner to Glenn Torrent. Good spell for the Glens at the start of this second half. And he made the clearance. They're shouting in the north stand. McBride, the little Finley was in there, Tigrish. Nice turn by Little. Still going down Little. And that was off Gary Smith. It's another corner for Glen Torn. The Glens are buzzing at this moment. So Little stays in the middle. Shepard takes the post. Justin McBride to try right foot at this time. Devine is off the line again. It's in. It's, oh, it's not. My goodness. And I think it was Glenn Little who got the final touch. All sorts of confusion in that goal mouth. It looked as though it was in. Gary Smith again. There's the header. Glenn Little off the bar. And off the head of Smith again to safety. Glenavon for the moment are reeling. McBride's corner. Gary Smith. His head has been so important these last few moments. Pete Beatty. It's not away yet. Beatty brought it down but couldn't make the shot. And Glenavon will just be happy to get it out of there. Pete Beatty. Glenn Little getting more involved in the second half. Coyle gets it back to Little. Oh, he hit it. <laughs> he hit it first time. He hit it quickly. Applause from the grandstands. And little or no back lift here. Almost surprised, Strani. Murphy with the overhead. Plenty of Gantoran man here. That's a good ball. Coyle, danger here. All the way across to the back. That's Glenn Little. Oh, he miscued it. But Gantoran still have it. Coyle. Parker's available. all the way through to Strani what a bit, bit of a threat there from Glen Torn good long ball and little well Eric Cantona did that the other week and somebody headed a goal but not that time for Glen Torn but a Glen Torn player down injured at the moment but play continues Glen Little runs at the heart of that defence still going Glen Little oh! from Glenn Little, it's 1-0 Glenn Torn. And they go absolutely wild in the North Stand. It may not win a cup final, but it's certainly a goal good enough to win a cup final. What a strike by the big Englishman. Cut outside, and Dimney let it go. No chance the keeper. His contribution up to now has been intermittent hasn't done an awful lot in the game but when you are a quality player then you expect quality things balance is good does tremendously well looks up and unleashes an unstoppable shot a goal good enough to grace any final outstanding what a day what a moment for Glenn Little his family across from London to see this final they will have enjoyed that moment so did they chance to break Here's the hero for the moment, the goal scorer, Glenn Little, being urged on by those fans in the north stand, feeds it through, Trevor Smith, turns it onto the left foot, Coyle, 
inside the box, Coyle tried to glide it in, just McBride. But it didn't work, but Coyle tried to swerve it round the defender. So cool, but that was good defending. And it just didn't come off for Justin McBride. Well, and Justin didn't get the shot on target. Look at the distance he had to make up to get in the box to get in the end of it. Gary Smith gets it forward, but he's given it away. Here comes Finlay to relieve the pressure. Good tackling back there by Ship. Don Murphy with a free kick is given. A little pass there with Finlay and Murphy. We don't need that at this stage of the game. We have a little bit of argy bargy here off the ball. It all started, Jack, with a late tackle by Stuart Gold and Darren Parker. Stuart and his urgency to get the ball. Left the foot in Parker. That's what has incensed Justin McBride. And Tom fans are blowing their whistles. Alan Stoddy hasn't blown his as yet. Shepherd, few have played harder than him. It's all over, referee Stoddy brings it to an end. There's the emotion for Tommy Cassidy. First Irish Cup win for him as a manager, first major trophy, and of course he's in Europe next season. He scored it, and he's mobbed by those delighted fans. But great scenes here, particularly if you're a Glen Torn supporter. The Navan lose, not so good if you're one of the losers. Disappointment for Nigel Best, the bridesmaids once again, and it's hugs all round, and as I said, there will be some celebrations tonight at East Belfast. A 16th Irish Cup win for Glen Torn. Final score here as the celebrations continue. It's Glen Torn 1, Glen Avon 0. At the end of the game, the trophy presentation was held up for some 20 minutes as police and stewards got supporters of both teams off the pitch. And sadly, to mar the big day, there was some trouble and a few spectators were hurt. So that's what it's all about, the Irish Cup. Bob McGee of the sponsors, Bass, handing it over to Glen Torn skipper, John Devine. He's a winner for the third time. What a moment for him, what a moment for Glen Torn. Irish Cup winners of 1996. And a marvellous goal it was by Glenn Little to win that trophy. And what a night they'll be having tonight at the Oval and in East Belfast. John Devine, a great game today. He won it in 1988 when they beat Glenavon that day by one goal to nil. He won it in 1990. And here he is. And he's absolutely delighted. Well, it was just unbelievable. It was an unbelievable day. Atmosphere was brilliant. And about a couple of minutes before... Liam's callers, he's played a great ball to me and a bit of volley nearly hit the corner flag. So to come out a couple of minutes later and hit a shot like that, couldn't believe it. Yes, I heard your manager saying uh, to you a moment or two ago he thought you should have passed it. Yeah, well, I'd had a bit of joy running at the Glenavon defence all through the game and just I'd got to the edge of the box and it always seemed to break down. But I just thought I'd hit it and it went into the top corner. And the goal was out of this world. I mean, it was he went by someone, landed up. And in the top corner, a, a tremendous goal it was to, to win a cup final. It was a very tense, tight first half, but you come out really fired up at the start of the second. What did you say at half time? Nothing really. We, it was a very even first half, tense. We never got playing. The pitch didn't help matters. I think where we won the game second half was determination. I thought we were more determined than them. We pegged them back. They never they had one slight chance near the end. But overall, in the 90 minutes, I like the semi final. We were the deserving winners. It's nice to win and deserve to win. Uh, and to finish it off with a goal as Glenn scored was just a, a magnificent day. Oh, it's a goal to win every final, isn't it? Uh, up to that, I, I thought we were doing well. Uh, it's going to take a little bit of magic from somebody, Glenn Little, you know, what a goal. We just had a battle and uh, took an absolutely wonder goal they wanted, like, so... Oh, it was, it, was, it was the only way we were going to score, I think, because we were hitting once, we were three headed off the line, that, so... Oh, that's great. Well, I'll tell you what, I'm absolutely knackered. That was, uh, that was a one hard game. I mean, it could have gone either way. It was just a battle from start to finish. And I am done. So the trophy and a place in Europe next season goes to Glen Torn. The Glen's hero today, Glen Little, with a little bit of magic. From all of us here at Windsor Park, bye-bye. <laughs>